What's good? It's your boy Jose Hustle. You tuned into a special edition of Jose Hustle TV, brought to you by TheSneakerAuthority.com. I know I've been talking for months, maybe years, about you know my very bad shoe collection, my exclusive shoe collection. So today I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek of some of my favorite shoes. You know what I'm saying? So this will be a reoccurring series of what my shoe game looking like. Since y'all see me from the waist up all the time, look, take a look at my shoe game right quick. My first favorite pair of shoes I like. The Bo Jacksons, you know, the Nike Trainer High SC, uh, to be exact. Uh, one reason I like them, they was my high school colors. And then, you know, is it, these were real popular in the early 90s with the Bo Nose campaign. And so I kind of took, I kind of took uh, gravitation to that and I liked it. And of course, you know, I'm the blog king, so I guess you could just say Jose knows. So it's really fitting for me to have the shoes that knows everything, because you know, I do. And then, um... My other, my next pair, I would like to show y'all. My favorite represents my favorite baseball player, King Griffey Jr. And these are the Air Max Griffey One. They came out in 1996, and uh, I was always a big baseball fan because my daddy played pro baseball at one point. And so for me to, when I got into baseball, King Griffey was the guy to be. And so you want to rock what the best player is wearing. So you know, but my favorite thing about the shoe at the bottom, you really don't see when you walk. You got the flame on the baseball. Then you had his number, you know what I'm saying, on the side. And for added comfort, you had the air bubbles. And then, uh, you know, they, now they match up with a lot of shoes. I mean, not a lot of shoes, but a lot of stuff. So, you know, I had to go back and get them again because they uh, instant clashes when they drop. Now, this next pair I'm going to show y'all, uh, I can say it's probably easily my favorite pair of Air Jordans that I have in my collection. And these are the Air Jordan 7. Hairs, you know, they're real, real delicate because of the very soft, you know, the very soft texture on the toes and the side box. But y'all might not remember that campaign when Jewel was doing with Bugs Bunny, you know, what I'm saying with all the Looney Tunes and stuff like that. So, and that was I was a kid growing up, you know, I, I was watching Looney Tunes and watching Michael Jewel, so this you know, was an easy choice for my favorite, my favorite sneaker. And then we have one of the most eye-catching shoes I have in my collection. I think it's probably not a time where if I don't wear them, people don't ask me where are they and you know where did you get them. And these are the Air Max 95 Safari Edition. Now these are these were I, I can say this might be the most exclusive pair of shoes I got. I got them when I was in Europe in 07. You know what I'm saying? You got you got probably a pig, you have zebra, you have cheetah, you have bangle tiger, you have pony hair, you know what I'm saying? And then you got the little added swagger with the green laces. You know what I'm saying? And a lot, every time I wear them, it's about five people. Hey man, what did you get your shoes on? What are on those? So, you know, that's just a little sneak peek of my sneak collection. I have, uh, you know, come man, get a, a little quick glimpse. I can't show them everything. This is just what I got in school now. It's a quick glimpse, you know what I'm saying? You got the fitted hats, stuff like that. Look at the imports, you know, that's the stuff that come from overseas, like the, the Gucci's, the Louis, and all that good stuff. So, appreciate y'all tuning in. You know, this is Jose Hustle. Y'all was in a sneak peek of my sneaker collection. Y'all send in some requests of what y'all like to see or some shoes that you think I might have or you think I don't have, and I'll be glad to show y'all. Check out sneakerauthority.com, number one source for 100% legit kicks, early release, knock and joy. And I'm out.